ఓం శ్రీ గురుభ్యో నమ శ్రీపాద శ్రీ వల్లభాయ నమ శ్రీ నృసింహ శాస్త్రి నమ శ్రీ గురు చరిత్ర చాప్టర్ ఎయిట్ నామధారక ఆస్కింగ్ శ్రీ సిద్ధ లైక్ దిస్ హౌ లాంగ్ శ్రీ గురు శ్రీపాద శ్రీవల్లభ స్టేడ్ ఎట్ గోకర్ణ అండ్ వాట్ హ్యాపెండ్ లేటర్ శ్రీ సిద్ధ టెల్లింగ్ శ్రీ గురు లివ్డ్ సీక్రెట్లీ ఫర్ త్రీ ఇయర్స్ అండ్ ఫ్రమ్ దేర్ హీ వెంట్ టు శ్రీగిరి ఆఫ్టర్ ఫోర్ మంత్స్ హీ వెంట్ టు నివృత్తి సంఘం అండ్ దెన్ టు కుర్వాపూర్ ఆన్ ది బ్యాంక్ ఆఫ్ ది కృష్ణ రివర్ దేర్ లివ్డ్ ఎ బ్రాహ్మిన్ వెల్ వర్స్డ్ ఇన్ వేద అండ్ శాస్త్రాస్ he had a good natured devoted wife ambika by name she begot children but none survived except one son in due course his third ceremony was celebrated but he was dull foolish and dumb hence the parents were much worried the brahmin got tired while training him and at times beat him for not learning his lessons his wife could not bear this cruel treatment to her only son the brahmin died after some time the woman lived with her son begging for their livelihood the boy grew up but being foolish and poor no one liked to give one's daughter in marriage to him people said to him your father was a learned man but you are a like a stone you have brought disgrace to his family how are you not ashamed of begging for your living better give up your life in the ganga river he was aggrieved to hear such harsh words of an on he therefore intended to give up his life in the deep waters of river seeing this his mother said to him in grief i shall also accompany you they both went on the krishna river shripada shrivallabha also had been there seeing him the mother bowed to him and said we both have decided to give up our lives in the river but as committing suicide is a sin how shall we be relieved of our miseries without being offended shri guru asked which miseries induce you to give your lives narrating her whole account the woman said swami who visited holy places and observed vratas for getting a son and after this we got this son but he is a dullard all despise him and scold him i therefore request you to bless me with a son who will be pious like your good self at least in the next birth he should prove good for all our further generations seeing her devotion shri guru said you worship ishwar shri shiva with devotion and you will have god like son nanda worshiped god and hence shri krishna lived at his home your desire will be fulfilled if you worship him devotedly the woman asked how did the cowherd worship shri hari what vrat did they observe shri guru on every shani pradosh worship god shiva a tale in this respect is narrated in the skanda purana there lived a righteous king chandrasen in ujjain manibhadra was his chief counselor he worshiped shri shiva most devotedly and shri shiva and favored him with the most bright chintamani bead which he had given to his master chandrasen a mere touch of the bead turned iron into gold by mere sight of the bead one's desires were fulfilled so all the other kings desired to have such bead Many kings tried to get the bead from the king and offered him money for the same but all efforts were in vain so they all combined their forces and attacked Ujjain 
when Chandrasen was engaged in worshipping Sri Siva on a Shani Pradosh day. The children of the cowherds watched the worship of the king and they also wished to worship Sri Siva. Similarly, the boys gathered stones and prepared a Shiva temple and placed one stone as image of Shivalinga and began worshipping it with flowers and other herbs. The mothers of the boys came there and took their sons for meals to their homes. But one boy did not go home. His mother thrashed him angrily and said, It is night now. Come to have your meals. She broke the temple and threw away the image of Shivalinga. Seeing this, the boy began to weep in grief and intended to give up his life. But after some time, he felt asleep. Sri Siva was pleased with his devotion and create a beautiful temple, a linga of precious stones was installed in it. Sri Siva awoke the boy, looked at him with affection and asked him to have a boon from him. The boy was much delighted. He bowed to Sri Siva and said, My mother has broken the evening worship. Kindly forgive her. Sri Siva said, As your mother has seen the evening worship, she will got a son named Sri Krishna in the next birth and you will also have all the pleasures. The forces of the enemies were emerged. They spoke among its themselves. What wonder is this? How this bright beautiful temple has been created here within a night. Let us give up enmity and see the king who is virtuous on friendly terms. They sent their messengers to the king. The king requested them to come to the Shiva temple where he would see them. Chandrasen was also wonderstruck to see sun like bright Shiva temple sprung up during the night. The cowherd boy's house also looked very bright. The king asked the boy the reason of this miracle. The boy narrated the whole story to all the kings who had gathered there. All were much pleased to hear him. They said, you really become the king of the cowherds. They offered the boy many gifts and land and expecting Chandrasen, all the kings returned to their places. The boy went home and narrated to his mother all the ha- had occurred. He said, Sri Siva was pleased with my evening worship. As I requested him to forgive you, even though you had broken the temple, he was not angry with you. Besides, he assured that the incarnation of Sri Krishna will stay at your home. Sripada Srivallabha narrated the significance of Shani Pradosh worship to the Brahmin and seeing her devotion, placed his palm over the head of her son and blessed him. Eventually, the boy instantly had the knowledge of Vedas, Shastras, Tark, Bhasha, etc. All the Brahmins and his mother were wonderstruck to see this. The mother respectively bowed to Sri Guru and said that she was fortunate to see Sri Guru and to get his blessings. She said, you are God yourself. We shall worship you in the evening. I hope I shall have a son like your good self in my next birth. Let not your words be untrue. Saying this, she began to worship Sri Guru every evening with devotion. Her son got married and had sons and grandsons. Those who are blessed by Sri Guru receive all leisure in the same way. Chapter 8 completed.